The money was generated from the sales of plastic bags during the period of June and July. Out of this initiative, the decision to charge for plastic bags was born and with it, the charge of 50 cents per grocery bag at all pick and pay retail stores. It is unfortunate how plastic has grown to become such a negative topic to the environment. And while it is not the plastic as such that's the problem, but rather the behavior of human beings with the use and treatment of plastic that has led to the unfortunate impact it has on the planet today. RNF will allocate the money to a project specifically aimed at empowering the youth to become the environmental stewards of tomorrow. We were looking at appointing an educator stroke waste management person that will visit and be a direct, direct um, in contact with all the schools and specifically targeting 10 schools by mid-year next year. That means that we now will have somebody that can encourage schools, that can start projects at schools, that can see the projects through and that we have tangible evidence of the success of the projects that have been implemented. Plastic bags are said to be non-biodegradable and take between 400 to 1,000 years to break down, posing threats to human health, living organisms and the environment. As Namibians, we have to rethink our relationship with waste. And we need to find sustainable avenues to create income through green jobs in waste management, recycling, and innovative avenues of production. The environmental levies was gazetted on the 2nd of August, 2019. Selima Henok, NBC News, Ventuk.